space in a work of art refers to a feeling of depth. It can also refer to the artist's use of the area within the picture plane. The space of a painting or a drawing is contained within the borders of the canvas or paper it's made on. The artist can create an illusion of depth and distance by arranging objects within the picture plane. Every picture uses space, whether it's a landscape, a still life, or an abstract improvisation. The artwork does not need to be realistic for us to see a foreground and a background and everything in between. Sculptures and other three-dimensional works of art, including ceramics, jewelry and architecture, use space that is also three-dimensional. That includes the area within and around an object. Your goal as an artist is to interpret what you see in three dimensions onto a two-dimensional surface. So we're talking about the arrangement of objects on the picture plane. The picture plane is the surface of your artwork. The space of a sculpture or a structure is a combination of the actual three-dimensional area of that piece and the environment it interacts with. Like shapes, space can be positive and negative. Let's say we have a blank canvas. This canvas is our picture plane. It defines the space of the painting. Once we outlined an area, we separated that space from the rest of the canvas space. A positive space is what is defined by the boundaries of the shape. A negative space is the rest of the canvas, the background. Whether your art piece is a presentational or abstract, you can use the space of the picture plane to create an illusion of depth. Here are some ways to do that. The first technique to creating the illusion of depth is size relationship. Objects that are smaller than others in the drawing appear to be further back. Objects placed higher than others in the drawing also look further away especially if their size supports that illusion. Overlapping objects is the basic technique for suggesting space. That means placing one object in front of another, partially hiding the object behind. Value change is a form of aerial perspective. You can gradually lessen value and value contrasts for objects that you want to look further back. In linear drawing, you can change the thickness of your line to achieve the same effect. Another form of aerial perspective is a change of contrast in the objects that appear to be further back. Details of objects in the distance are less clear than those in the foreground. Color intensity and hue change also support the illusion of depth. Colors become less vibrant and cooler, even bluer. Have you seen a mountain range from a distance? Linear perspective is a mathematical approach to create an illusion of depth. It involves the three necessary components – horizon line, vanishing point, and receding lines. All the above techniques – size relationship, placement, overlapping, aerial and linear perspectives – add depth and illusion of space to your work. So the art element of space refers both to depth, real or an illusion, and the general surface area within a work of art. Use the space element to organize and manipulate other elements in your artwork.